Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 14th through the 20th. And this is a big week. We have a solar eclipse, and we have a new moon. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. So, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of December 14th through 20th. What do we have for Libra? These cards are so big. What do we have for Libra? One card, please. The Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is good news. It's good luck is on its way. It's the Wheel of Life spinning you in a positive direction. So uh, positive change is coming when you have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it looks like it's exciting by the looks of things. Everybody's smiling. So I think you're going to be smiling. Um, things change suddenly. This is a sudden change. Okay? It's a positive change. Okay? So... This is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Um, it feels like it's very exciting to me. So there's an exciting uh, change of events, put it that way. Something is happening that is uh, going to positively change your life, put it that way. It's, it's almost like you're, 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 this guy's running, running after something and you're going to get it. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, which is interesting. In regards to your romantic life, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, I mean, that's good, right? Now, if you haven't met somebody, you could be meeting them this week because this is being at the right place at the right time. This is destiny. So this is, this is, you know, something, well, let me see. It's an unfortunate accident, put it that way. Obviously, something is, is running away. This guy is going after it. He's going to run into something, something. Yeah, that's what's going to happen um, if you're single. If you're in a relationship now, this could be the one. You've already met the person. Or you could be suddenly meeting somebody. I feel like this is a sudden change of events. So what do we have for Libra? We're going to take that one. I feel like that is too many. It feels like it's a pile. It is a pile. We're not going to take all those. Come on now. Let's get one more. Well, we'll get it. We'll take these. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming, which we just established. Okay. It's interesting because we have a butterfly here. Okay. And this caterpillar turns into a butter butterfly. This is like a transformation. It is a major change. So, yeah. Now, uh, transformation is like a death. It's like the end of something and the beginning of something new. So you are going to be experiencing a new beginning. It's a very positive one. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. So you're going to be receiving or giving acts, forces working against you. So there are some forces working against you, which may be making you feel 
feel uh, frustrated or tied down, but things are going to change, obviously, in a very positive manner. You're going to be receiving something from somebody or giving, okay? Um, there's a gift here, whether you're receiving the gift, and it could just be a gift of a new life. Or it could be from a partner. Whatever it is, you're going to be... Um, Either receiving or giving a gift. Interesting. So what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? A change is coming. A big change. There's a cycle that is ending in your life. Six of Wands reversed. Now the Six of Wands reversed is... Ah, not making much progress in a state of disharmony, right? Um, lack of recognition. You may not recognize something or there's um, a setback. You may be experiencing a setback and whether you get the six of wands. This is no staying power. It could be some unwelcome news. You may be, because with the Six of Wands, you may be receiving some unwelcome news. This is a, a battle that isn't quite over yet. So you may be in some sort of battle right now. It's not over, you know, or it doesn't end the way that you thought it was going to end. Now, this is a no or losing a battle, losing something. So, but this is a positive change. So sometimes losing things leads to something better. Okay, um, now this is the Six of Wands reverse is, is not a win, it's a, it's a loss, okay? Um, the Emperor reverse. I don't know if you're dealing with a father, husband, masculine energy. Doesn't have to be a father, could even be a mother. I mean, that's a very masculine energy. It could be an Aries. Um, there is somebody here that is very controlling that may desert you in the time of need. Uh, you may be feeling disgraced or embarrassed. This part, there could be some either could even be some public embarrassment from somebody. Um, maybe it has to. It could be with it. I feel like it, for some of you, it may have to do with a parent. It doesn't have to be a parent. It could be a boss. Could be um, a husband or a wife or something like that. But there's there's some sort of um, pride, cocky individual here who uh, is very very controlling. This person may have deserted you, but this is a positive change because now you are going in another direction. So uh, the Emperor Reverse is feeling, you know, insecure. You may be feeling insecure, but maybe you were deserted as a child by a parent. I don't know. Um, but there's a there's a there's some sort of disgrace here, feeling disgraced or embarrassed or something. You may be actually trying to run away from this person or this person is run away, running away from you. But this is actually a positive change. And I know that's hard to fathom, but it is. Um, I wonder if there's some criminal activity here. There could be some criminal activity. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody that um, feels as though they're above the law. They can do whatever they want. Um, four of Cups. Four of Cups is discontent. I think that you're going to be looking at somebody that deserted you. You're thinking about somebody that deserted you or... Uh, didn't follow through. This is like a one hit wonder. This is somebody who, uh, you're going to be thinking about a loss. You may be dealing with a narcissist or a narcissist type of energy. Okay. Um, and I think that it's really going to causing you discontent this week. It is, but you have a change that is coming. You have a change that is coming. Um, I feel like you've been tied to somebody for a long time. And it feels like those ties are going to be severed. I, I just got to be honest with you. And I feel like you're going to be discontent and you're going to be sad over the situation. Or you still are. Maybe this happened a while ago. Maybe you feel like this person is the one and they don't reciprocate. They don't feel the same. I mean, that could be the case.
Page of Cups. Seven of Wands reverse. Now, there is some news arriving. I think it's going to be very emotional. I feel like you could be receiving some emotional news. You do, you know, and the Page of Cups can be good news. It can be good news. And then you may not see it as good news. You may have an admirer. You may have somebody who really cares about you that is going to be expressing their feelings. That person could be the one. You may be tied to somebody that is abusive. Um... Seven of Wands reverse. That is giving up. There is somebody here that is is giving up. They they like to fight a lot as well. I feel like uh, I don't know if there's some sort of ruin here. There's some sort of ruin. We have somebody here that is. Maybe you're deciding to give up. Maybe you're deciding you don't want to fight with this person anymore, or they don't have any fight left. Okay. This person doesn't have any fight left. Somebody's not, or maybe you don't. It's like, I don't want to fight anymore. Maybe, you know, I don't want to, I don't want, I think it's giving up. Somebody is giving up their position. Okay. And maybe they're giving up their position. Maybe they're being taken down. Okay. They could be taken down from their position. You know, there's a loss here with the six of wands reversed and the seven of wands reversed. That is somebody who has been fighting. They've been fighting. They've been fighting. You know, they've been in a tough position and they're losing. They're losing that fight, okay? I'm just being honest. They're losing the, maybe they're losing their will to fight, you know? Um, and I do see, I do see with that Four of Cups, some element of sadness or discontent in looking at, you know, the energy around this person and probably, you know, thinking about another option. You're probably, you know, because there is another option here. There absolutely is with that Four of Cups and the Page of Cups. I think somebody is deserting you or they have deserted you. And you have another option here. You have another option that is spinning you in a new direction. You have a you have a destined change of course here. Destiny is calling. Destiny is telling you that it is time for you to end this cycle with whoever this person is. Okay? Um, I'm wondering if... Like I said, there could be some criminal activity and somebody could get taken down for their criminal activity. Or they just don't have any will to fight for for something anymore. Um, Page of Cups is unexpected news. You may receive some unexpected news that makes you uh, feel emotional. Um, hmm. High Priestess. High Priestess is very observant, very... Uh, self-sufficient is very intuitive so we have a very intuitive individual here who is waiting it feels like there's this person is waiting they're waiting for the moment they know that this is going to happen so this is an intuitive individual that is is just uh, choosing to be single You may be dealing with a with a counselor. You could be a counselor, a card reader, a psychic, a medium. Uh, you're dealing with this person. This person has some sort of information. They are waiting, or maybe that's you. You're waiting for uh, news. You're waiting for news, and there is news that is coming. Or this person is waiting for news. Whoever you're dealing with, they're waiting for the guidance. Okay, there's guidance that is definitely coming. There's some sort of deep feelings here and, and deep intuition, an inner knowing, a knowing somebody knows there is somebody that knows that there is a, there is a loss here. There's a, there is a loss. Somebody knows that there is a loss that is coming. priestess is very very intuitive choosing to be alone choosing to observe somebody is choosing to observe and waiting waiting for what they know is about to happen it is about to happen I'm 
And I wonder if there's some sort of malicious behavior here with that Six of Wands reverse and the Seven of Wands reverse. It feels like there's some sort of, and there's feeling here. I think that you're feeling like something is off and something is definitely off. We have somebody here that is weak. They are weak. And you may know that they are about to fall or that they are about to go down. You know, somebody is about to go down. They're not, they're about to lose a battle. Okay. And I don't know who it is. There's definitely fighting here. But everything happens for a reason. You may be needing to spend time with, alone to go within. You may need to go within to reflect on whatever this loss is. There is a loss with the Six of Wands reversed and the Seven of Wands reversed. It's like going down. But it, it is going to be emotional. You may need time alone to reflect on your feelings. Because this is a change. That Wheel of Fortune is the end of a cycle. It is a major change. It's a major Arcana, okay? So it's a major change. It's positive, but I feel like it's going to cause you to be emotional and discontent with that Four of Cups. You may be feeling, you may be overanalyzing, you know, why this has happened. Why is this happening? You may be overthinking, you know, why is this happening? It's happening because whoever you are dealing with, and I don't know if it's a, like a father or a mother or a husband or a boss, it's somebody, or a wife even, this is somebody who is narcissistic. This is somebody that is controlling. This is somebody that is unwilling to budge, inexperienced, um, uh, on the wrong side of the law. There is somebody here that is corrupt. This is this is a person that likes to fight a lot, is very, very aggressive. You're dealing with somebody that is always wanting to be on top, that just really likes to fight. Or likes to assert their power. And I feel like this person is becoming powerless. Or they're losing their power. Or they're crashing. You know. Or something like that. Or they're about to lose a battle that they've been fighting. And I feel like you've been seeing this coming. You're going to receive news that this has happened. And you're going to need time to reflect on whatever news it is that you that you hear. Okay. But... But the Wheel of Fortune being the first card out, this is a change that needs to happen. There's a loss, but it needs to happen. It's meant to happen, okay? Um, somebody could be dealing with an individual. If, if you say, I mean, I hate to say this, but we could have somebody here that is dealing with an individual that is very, very secretive, you know? they They could even, you know, be engaging with um, or flirting or uh, dating uh, somebody that is very seductive, you know, and they've been hiding it. Okay, just saying. I mean, the high priestess is very seductive, very, very alluring. Okay, but there's a, there's a, And there is, there is uh, somebody that is interested in this, this high priestess. And I don't know, if you're a male, it could be you. you. But there's narcissistic behavior here with that emperor reversed. Thinking about, thinking about somebody that is very, very... Gifted, because this is gifted. So we do have a gifted individual here. I feel like there's jealousy as well. I do. I feel like there's jealousy. Thinking about a loss of somebody, you know, interesting. Knight of Wands reverse. Now, the Knight of Wands reverse is naive and it's a sudden departure. So somebody may be suddenly departing. They could be, there could be a fight. There could be an argument where somebody, you know, suddenly leaves. They leave without thinking. Um, we also have somebody here that, it, that acts recklessly. This is reckless behavior. This person acts definitely without thinking. This is somebody that uh, is very loud, maybe violent, overly competitive, forceful. 
doesn't stick around may have done something impulsive. So I do feel like there's somebody that has done something impulsive and, and it feels like it's going to cause a major uh, life change with that Wheel of Fortune. They've done something without thinking and it's going to lead them in a new direction very, very, very fast. Very fast. For some of you, this won't be for all of you, I think you could be dealing with somebody that may have, I don't even know, maybe somebody has had a one, one night stand, you know, with an individual and, you know, they can't stop thinking about it and, and maybe they're still communicating with that person or something like that and that's not going to be for everybody. There could be a new option for love here, absolutely. But you are obviously tied to something that you need to let go of. So I feel as a Libra this week, you know, um, you may be thinking about somebody that could be the one, but you may be tied to somebody that isn't, you know, um, and you need to sever those ties. I feel like, but that's not going to be for everybody. Whatever is happening, there is a change in direction. It is a positive change. It is definitely spur of the moment. Okay. Um, Somebody is thinking, they are thinking about, they are thinking, they're thinking, 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 they're thinking about, maybe they're thinking about after they've given up, they may be thinking about fighting for something that they have feelings for as well. So I know I'm changing that a little bit. This is thinking, this is giving up a fight, but they may be thinking about you know, well, definitely thinking again. Somebody is somebody is thinking about somebody that they may have feelings for. They may have run into, you know, and I think that it may have gotten away. This is like the one that got away, perhaps. Somebody may be thinking about the one that got away. And they may be coming after it. So that could be you going after them or them coming after you. This could also have to do with family. If it's not a love relationship, there could be a family member that is going down. Just saying. Just saying. This person appears to be corrupt. May have deserted you in the time of need. Now this is for the whole week. A lot of things happen in a week. I don't think this is about finances at all. Okay, I think this is about relationships. This may have to do with a family relationship and a love relationship. You definitely have a new beginning here. Okay. There is some sort of force working against you. There is. And I feel like it's, it's uh, I don't know, maybe it, for some of you it could be ego with that, with that emperor reversed. Somebody needs to take action. They do need to take action and go after their heart, follow their heart. But they may have fear of rejection. Anyway, this week you are going to be receiving. I think you're going to be receiving or you're going to be giving because it's receiving or giving. Okay. So you're going to be either receiving or giving. And it could be a message or a gift, okay, to somebody that really, really cares or they admire you. It could even be a crush or something like that. This is a heartfelt, um, it's very heartfelt, put it that way, offer of some sort. Somebody is is going to be following their heart, put it that way. So anyway, this week it looks to be a, a major turning point for you. There is with that Wheel of Fortune. That's a that's a major turning point. It's a major change. It's very positive. I think that you're going to be smiling. You're going to be smiling with the with the uh, change of events. Okay. Um, 
a positive change is coming. That's all I gotta say. And I think that it starts this week. You may, ha- you may, for some of you, you may, you may run into somebody that is a true love connection, or you may have already run into this person. I do see frustrations and needing to. Realize that there's still an opportunity. I feel like you've missed an opportunity. And you may have missed an opportunity because you were feeling tied down to something. Maybe it's because of responsibilities. Maybe it's because of parental responsibilities. But I feel like there's an opportunity for you to break free if you can be flexible. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of change for you. All right. Um, Somebody's going to be chasing after something that got away. Good luck.